The F-18 is the frontline fighter and bomber for the Marine Corps and the Navy. These are aging aircraft and we still have a war going on, so we still need aircraft out there. Our main function here at FRC Southeast is to replace the center barrel on F-18 aircraft. What this does is it expends, extends the life from 6,000 flight hours out to 10,000 flight hours. Center barrel is like the backbone of the airplane. The wings attach to the center barrel, the main landing gear attaches to the center barrel, plus it's in the center of the aircraft that takes most of the stress. There's a lot of cracks found at the 6,000 flight hour on these aircraft, so that was the reason why we were focusing on the center barrel for, to extend the life of this aircraft. Having thousands of pounds of bombs on the wings flying their missions puts a huge toll on the airframe of this aircraft. One little crack not found here can cause extensive damage out there in the fleet. So we take great pride and we do a heavy inspections on these airframes. It may take longer, but in the long run, we're providing a better product to the Navy and the Marine Corps when they receive these aircraft back to them. When the aircraft arrives, what we'll do is we'll, we'll strip the aircraft of all its years of paint and we'll disassemble the aircraft, take out the engines, take off the wings. We'll do a heavy inspection on the airframe at that point to determine any other incoming damage other than our, our center barrel replacement requirements. We will split the aircraft in thirds, remove the old center barrel, put in a new center barrel along with other parts of the aircraft. We'll put the aircraft back together in the fixture, do a test flight, and that pretty much sums it up. 95% of the damage that we find on these aircraft on the components and the parts that we removed are fixed in-house. That lowers our cost, better savings to the taxpayer, actually provides local jobs here in Jacksonville. We are scheduled to receive 10 center barrel aircraft a year through 2020. So we're looking at 30 to 40 aircraft more coming in. That's another reason why the faster we get these out, the quicker we can get them in. I would say anywhere from 80 to 90% of our mechanics and artisans that work on this airframe are prior military, which gives us great pride in their craftsmanship because they know the need for these aircraft back to the fleet. They know that their brothers and sisters out there in the Navy and the Marine Corps are going to use their product. So they go the extra mile, the extra step, not only to increase the turnaround time, but also the quality of their work in these aircraft going back to the fleet.